Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is the Week Ahead Reading. So we are looking at Monday the 31st of August to Sunday the 6th of September. First week of September. We do actually have the full moon in Pisces in the middle of this week. It's happening here in the UK at 6.22 on Wednesday the 2nd. Obviously, full moons are all about releasing, so releasing the past, letting go. And with full moon in Pisces, I'm feeling it's going to be like quite an intuitive time. You're going to be getting sort of like downloads, information coming to you that um, makes things a bit clearer. Um, maybe to do with your life path, what you're here to do and how you're meant to be fulfilling your purpose, etc. Um, it's sort of like a strong energy that I'm getting at this time. It could be that things are, it's new inspiration. New inspirations coming to you that are going to be directing you in a different direction to what you had originally thought. Okay, so that's just my intuition. That's what I'm picking up at this time. So let's come into the cards. So dear angels, guys, please guide me at this time. What messages above all messages do we need to know for the week ahead? 31st of August to the 6th of September. What do we as a collective need to know? Okay, so... Let's have a look for the overriding energy. What is the main energy surrounding us at the time of this week ahead? What energy is surrounding us at this time for the week ahead? Just one message, please make it clear. There we go. Happiness. Okay, so this week is all about focusing on your happiness. We do have that butterfly there, which obviously is all about transformation. As I was saying with that with that full moon in Pisces, I'm just feeling that it's time to just let go of that rubbish, what you've been carrying around on your shoulders. Let it all go. Let happiness come into your life. These inspirations will be bringing you happiness, these inspired ideas. It, this is a good week. The energy's high. Um, I'm gonna. I'm feeling the joy coming through with this week. Um, it so, starts something new. Okay, so let's jump into the cards. So, dear angels, guys, of the light. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Okay. Could we have a card to represent what is falling away at this time? What is falling away this week? What is falling away this week? What is coming in? What challenges could we be facing? What challenges could we be facing? And what advice do we have? There's some nice, nice cards there. Okay, so what's falling away? We had patience and planning in reverse okay so if you've had you've been being patient and you've, you it's it's not about being patient really it's just you've been stuck okay being quite honest it's like all your ideas all your plans have been coming um have been coming up they've been coming through and you've been thinking yeah these are good these are good really good work and it's not they've been sticking things are not working i am feeling it is all about divine timing it's just waiting for the whole energies to build up and pick you up and take you where you need to be going so you have been stuck in this energy of not actually being able to manifest the things that you are wanting in your life you've not been able to move forward it's like every time you put a plan on paper it's like something comes along and just knocks it completely off the table. It's like that wind blowing all your papers everywhere. It's like just chaos. I'm just seeing at the moment. Um, but that is coming to an end. It is, it's now time to move forward because what is coming in is this positive movement forward. Okay. This is seeing you sailing off into the sunset. Um, it is about that happiness, isn't it? It's about moving forward in a positive way. So it could be that these, um, as I said, with that full moon in Pisces, I'm feeling that it is very much inspired um, ideas, inspiration coming to you. Um, those pinging moments that are going to sort of like say to you, right, um, let's try this way. May not have worked that way, but let's try this way. And I'm feeling that this is where it's sort of all going to be taken off. The energy is supporting you at this time. 
Don't, however, get stuck by not following those pings because the challenge is ignited, passion ignited. So you may have these pings. You may um, be getting these inspired ideas, but it, are you going to follow them? Um, that is what you are being warned against. OK, the challenge this week is to actually go with the, that what is sparking that light in your that light in your heart. If you look, her heart is on fire. She's really enjoying it. Whatever she's thinking about, um, she's really passionate about it. She really wants it to work, etc. And this is what I'm feeling. It's just how much are you wanting it to work? If you are prepared to put in the effort, if you are prepared to put in the energy, it is going to work. But you've got to get yourself fired up enough about it that you are actually going to do it. You can co-create with the universe, but um, the universe can't always do everything for you. You need to be working with the universe and you need to put your passion into it too. The universe can present these opportunities to you, but unless you put in that effort, it's not actually going to... Um, it's not going to materialise because there are things on this earthly plane that you need to be doing to make it happen. Moving on to advice from spirit. We have mental conflict. So this week, the best bit of advice that we can give you is stay out of your head. OK, don't get caught up. Don't be thinking about those plans that didn't work. Those plans that have been stuck, that haven't been moving anywhere. Those plans that have literally had the wind sweeping your papers off of the table in chaos, just not working. Drop it. OK, this week, get out of your head and stop uh, self-sabotaging as well. It's about you thinking, well, it can't work. I've tried different things. It's not working. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Put out that energy. That's what's going to happen. So this is for you time to get into that seeing that things can happen, seeing that this is a different idea that you've got, that it is inspired, that it can work, that it is positive movement forward and that it is a movement towards your happiness. OK, so this week, look out for that the divine inspiration that is coming to you. Look out for the ideas, the pings, because whatever it is, it's transforming you. Not only you, it's transforming your life and it's going to bring in something really, really good. Stay out of your head, focus on the good, focus on these ideas and take those steps towards making it happen. So that is your week ahead read and I hope it's resonated. If it has, thumbs up, please. And if you feel inclined, click on that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Take care and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.